and welcome to the midweek edition of Targets in Focus. Today I am joined down the line by Guillaume Treska to discuss the Turkish Lira, South African Rand and Polish Zloty. Guillaume, the Lira slumped to a record as Turkey's current account deficit widened to a four-month high. For many, the data affirms that the pace of improvement is just not moving fast enough to quickly eradicate concerns over Turkey's so-called Achilles heel. Analysts believe the Lira looks set to go weaker still until the central bank tightens monetary policy in a more meaningful way. Do you agree? What is your longer-term forecast? I fully agree. Clearly, the backdrop for the Turkish Lira is really negative. The main issue is, as you mentioned, the current account deficit. It is still very large. We expect some tightening uh, this year, but due to a lower domestic demand and rebound in exports, uh, thanks to uh, a firmer uh, US and economy, but the fact remains that structurally, the current account remains quite large and Turkey is facing a uh, very large financing needs in the short term. So we think that the Turkish uh, will keep depreciating and that the Turkish Central Bank is not yet ready to hike significantly or in other way to uh, hike significantly uh, the upper band of this um, red corridor. Uh, we think that they will do nothing next week during the uh, January meeting, but given the pressure on the TRY, we think that at some point they will do something likely in February or March. So just to sum up, we remain bearish and we think that the Chikishia could can go as far as 2.40 uh, versus the dollar by the end of this year. The impact of Turkey's political unrest has not been restricted to its own economy, with the South African rand languishing close to a five-year low against the US dollar and trading lower against many majors, including the British pound. Indeed, sentiment is extremely negative and some analysts believe the risk of ongoing rand losses is obvious. How low can the rand go? We are pessimists as well. Uh, we think that it can go above uh, 11 versus the dollar by mid-year, but the outlook is slightly different than the Turkish. Obviously, South Africa has as well a very large contact deficit, but financing needs are lower and the central bank has not yet done something. So in other ways, the central bank has some room to maneuver, and if they really want, they can, for instance, hike interest rates or tighten monetary policy. It is not yet the case. Uh, we think that they are still reluctant to do some things. So it is why we think that the Tsar will depreciate further in the short term. So I would say that the backdrop is clearly negative, but slightly better than for the Turkish lira. While the Czech corona remained more or less stable after last week's US payrolls, both the foreign and the Zloty in particular strengthened, on bets of a pause in the Fed's QE tapering. As a consequence, the Polish currency hit this year's high and was trading even below 4.15 against the euro. Nevertheless, bearing in mind that one-off factors might have been in play in the US in December, it has been suggested the gains should not be overstated. But what is your outlook moving forward? We still like Central Europe and especially Poland. We think that um, it could be an outperformer this year and um, the region and especially Poland is less sensitive to the rise of US rates because they have made very harsh adjustments over the past years after the Lehman crisis and um, most countries in the region are running current account surplus. It is not yet the case for Poland but the current account deficit is uh, pretty tight and we are seeing a recovery, a firm recovery and the Polish central bank is maybe one of the only EM central banks in the region uh, that is uh, leaning, I will say, on the neutral side or a central bank that is ready to hike interest rates by the end of this year. So it is why we are bullish on the Polish loti and we think that uh, the Polish loti would appreciate very gradually uh, this year or in the worst case will um, outperform uh, this EMEA peers. Graham, thank you so much for your time and forecast today. Well, viewers, that's all from me for the moment, but keep up to date with the latest currency movements by clicking back to the website for the hourly updates. Goodbye for now.